So Panasonic just released an update enabling the S5 and S52X to record proxies alongside the original footage. But that's not even the biggest update. Coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul. I'm a German-based cinematographer and this channel is all about filmmaking gear reviews but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. If that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe. So Panasonic was kind enough to invite me to test the new firmware before it comes out and it is basically for the S5 and S52X. So as I've said, you can now record proxies alongside your original footage. So if you go into the camera menu, you will now find the menu proxies where you can choose the proxy resolution between high, medium and low. High, medium is full HD and low is 720p. So for me, all of them work pretty well. They are pretty small actually. So what does that actually mean? So if you record in proxy, your camera will store the original footage on slot one and the proxy on slot two. But you can choose if you have the S52X, for example, then you can choose to record the original footage onto your SSD because the camera can do that and the proxy inside your SD card. So feel free to choose on the S52. There's just the other option that I just mentioned. Will it record in every frame rate and in every resolution? Mostly, but not in all. So let me explain. If you want to record 6K open gate and all that stuff, it won't work. And also the other anamorphic 3x2 modes, but it works up to Cinema 4K. And it also doesn't work if you want to record 120p or everything above, like let's say 60. So it will work in 24, 25, 30, 50 and 60 and the proxy will match the source, the, the frame rate of your source clip. Will it work if you record externally and also potentially if you record raw? I've tested it, unfortunately it, it's not, but it works, as I've said, for everything that you will record internally. And the biggest thing is for me actually that it has now an integration with Frame.io, meaning if you go now into the menu, you can connect it to Frame.io and then you can directly upload your recorded proxies to Frame.io. You can also choose between raw photos and JPEG photos. You can also upload that. You can toggle them in the menu and you also see like a status bar if it's uploaded or not. And that's, that's great because let's imagine you're on set and you're recording the project and when you have shot the first clips, you directly send them to Frame.io and your editor can already start working on the projects. So that means you can also now be able to deliver same day delivery, which you can charge actually more for. So I think this is a cool advantage that you can use in many different ways. But the update doesn't start here because also Panasonic improved the autofocus even further. So now we have eye autofocus, we have car autofocus and we have motorcycle autofocus. So really cool new improvements and the autofocus just got even better. They also have pre-burst shooting now and they also have improved the e-stabilization in the camera. So I feel like this update is just great. So the update will be available to download on the 22nd of April. I will link for you the download link below. Personally, I think it's a great update. Recording proxies is just great. You can also do it in the normal way if you just want to record proxies and work with proxies if your computer is not fast enough. I think there are many big advantages that you can make use of this update and that you have that in such a small body is just really great. I'm a little bit sad that it won't be able on my S1H, but um, I think this is a great update. So thank you Panasonic for that. If you have any further more questions, you know the game, just drop them down in the comments below and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Cheers.